That's okay. That's okay. I don't have much faith in words myself. Now, statistically speaking, an average person tells three lies per 10 minutes of conversation. And granted, it's just regular people. We haven't studied and people who are planning to firebomb a black church. <laughs> Could skew differently. We don't have time for this scientist to talk to the guy. We went at him for four hours and got nothing. Now, the FBI knows you want mass casualties. So right now, ATF is searching every inch of the two largest black churches in the state. FBI got it wrong. Well, there's a shocker. Not one of those two churches. Maybe you want one of the smaller churches, one of the black suburbs. You know what you're talking about. Don't respond. What do you say ATF starts with Southbridge? Nah, I'm only kidding. We're gonna skip that one. We're gonna focus on Lawton. You feel good about it? That's it, Lawton. Gone after a church in Lawton. That accusation has no basis. What do you mean? You just told me. The ATF found a pipe bomb in the church basement in Lawton an hour later. DOD friend of mine right. said this guy's a total nut job. I heard he spent like three years in the African jungle with some primitive tribe studying their eyebrows. What's his reaction to my statement? Right now, ATF is searching every inch of the two largest black churches in the state. Now, what you just saw there was a brief expression of happiness on his face, which he was trying his best to conceal. It lasted for less than a fifth of a second as what we call a micro-expression. Now, look at his mouth. The suspect is secretly happy about the locations we are searching, which tells me we have the wrong locations. Now I tell him of our new plan and... You know what you're talking about. Classic one-sided shrug. Translation, I have absolutely no confidence in what I just said. The body contradicts the words. He's lying. Yeah. When you accuse a suspect and he acts surprised, is there a way to tell if it's real or if he's just trying to look innocent? Now, that's real surprise. Lasts for... Less than a second when it comes across the face, but if your suspect is surprised for more than a second, he's faking it. He's lying. Now, I call out that this target is actually Lawton, and watch it again. Concealed scorn. One personal tip, you see this micro-expression in your spouse's face, your marriage is coming to an end. Try something. <laughs> Uh, don't these micro-expressions vary depending on the person? Let's leave this up and we'll go to the Cato Kalin footage from the OJ trial. Mr. Kalin, you got a lot of money for your appearance on Current Affair, didn't you? Um, yeah. Scorn! Scorn. Huge scorn. Shame, shame, and shame. Contempt. These expressions are universal. Emotion looks the same whether you're a suburban housewife or a suicide bomber. The truth is written on all our faces. <laughs> 